Okay, so let's have a look at checkpoint 10.1. Remember we were saying that um, straight is a relative velocity. So let's see if this pen is working. Okay, so um, remember we were looking at this cart and the cart was in the earth reference frame, the cart was moving to the right and then it had a certain velocity and then after it was moving uh, we dropped this ball and we saw this motion in the earth reference frame but if we stayed in the cart reference frame uh, all we saw was uh, the ball dropping down okay so <coughs> in this figure what is the ball's velocity uh, what is the ball's velocity the instant before it is released so this is a bit of a how would you answer that well you could answer it by saying which reference frame are you talking about we're talking about the cart's reference frame or the earth reference frame? Well, that's exactly the point. Um, if you got that, you've got the point. If you are in the, in, the cart's, in the cart's reference frame, then what is the ball's velocity the instant before it's released? Well, it would be zero. Because it's, it's, if you're in this reference frame, all you're going to see is the ball just standing there and then falling, beginning to fall. Okay? So, uh, in the cart reference frame, the ball's velocity is zero. However, in the earth reference frame, remember it's moving to the right, and then you drop it, and it has this motion. So, in the earth reference frame, it has a horizontal component of velocity. So, in the earth reference frame, it is not zero, it is the velocity of the cart, horizontally. Okay, B. Is the ball's speed in the reference frame of the cart greater than, equal to, or smaller than its speed in the earth reference frame? So is the speed here greater than, equal to, or less than the speed? Sorry, the, the, the speed here. Is it greater than, equal to, or less than the speed here? What is your answer? Well, remember, now we're beginning to work in a plane, in two dimensions. If we consider the speed over here, all we are considering is a downward component. Okay? A downwards component. Oh my goodness, I messed up that arrow. Okay, but you get it. Whereas here, if you want to look at the speed, you need to look at both a horizontal component and a downward component at any instant. It's going to change. And so if you've got a horizontal velocity component and a downward vertical velocity component, then you, need, then you have a resultant. Right? This is your resultant velocity component in the Earth reference frame. So clearly, these two are going to be the same. The two vertical components are going to be the same. But clearly, this um, resultant speed is larger than, than the one over here. So the answer to B is the earth reference frame.